Um, most puppy books, when they, they have a chapter, something like taking your puppy home or the pu puppy's first car journey or something like that. And from uh, most of those, they'll say something like, the first time you take your dog home will be the first time it's been in a car. And that's usually not true. It's usually been in a car one other time. It's usually been in a car twice. And the first time, it went to the vet and was poked and prodded and injected. And, and then the second time, was when you took it home. And for a dog, that means <laughs> that cars really aren't that good. They're not really that pleasant for them. So the pups are now five and a half weeks old, and we're just driving around the local housing estate. There's a 20 mile an hour speed limit, so there's no, no sharp bends, no sudden braking, and things like that. And we're about to stop and give them the treat of their life a big bowl of pilchards. And I'm telling you now, they're going to love the car. You're in your own light, love. I need to be. So the, the puppies are just going for their first drive. We've just given them a big bowl, of, a big bowl of pilchards. So how good are cars? When our puppies come into cars, they get pilchards. Cars are good. Cars give you pilchards. Cars stinks of fish. <laughs> but no, <laughs> but no squeak. The puppies are happy. The puppies are very happy. They're but the car does <laughs> smell considerably of, of fish. fish. <laughs> So if I just do the first bit...